how's it going? In this video, we will look at how to create an Excel function that computes the levelized cost of electricity. The objective is to have an Excel built-in formula that calculates the LCOE for a specific project. So, what are the steps involved? We're going to break our analysis down into two parts. First, we will learn about the Excel function lambda and how it is used. Second, we will go over the LSUE formula and rewrite it in Excel-friendly format. After we complete these two steps, we will open Excel spreadsheet and code a new built-in LSUE function that you then can share with your colleagues and team members. What exactly is the Lambda function? It is an Excel function that enables users to create customized functions that can be shared and reused in other workbooks without the use of macros. The Lambda function takes two arguments. First, parameters, which are the variables or inputs in your formula. In this field, you can have as many parameters as needed. Second, is the calculation, which is the place where you enter the formula that Lambda needs to calculate. For example, if you want to create a formula that multiplies two numbers using lambda, you have to write in Excel equals lambda, open brackets, x comma y, which are your parameters or variables, comma, x times y, which is the calculation, and press enter. Now that you know how the lambda function works, let's start drafting our LCOE function. To create an LCOE formula using lambda, we will first need to add our variables or inputs needed to perform the LCOE calculation as parameters. In our case, our parameters will be the total generation, the total capex, the total opex, the discount rate per period, and the total number of periods of the analysis. The following argument, the calculation, we will need to write the LCOE formula in a format that Excel can read and calculate. So let's see how to do it. We know from previous videos that the LCOE is equal to the NPV of CAPEX plus the NPV of OPEX divided by the NPV of generation. And if we assume that the CAPEX is dispersed in period zero, then we can state that the NPV of capex is equal to the capex itself. And if we then write the LCOE formula in an Excel format, we can say that the LCOE is equal to the sum, open brackets, capex, comma, NPV opex, close brackets, divided by the NPV of generation. As it is now, it is still not, not possible to calculate the LCOE because the lambda function cannot calculate the NPV OPEX and the NPV generation. We need to further break down the NPV formula. And we know from our previous videos that the NPV formula in Excel has its own arguments, which are the discount rate per period and an array with all the values that need to be brought to the present value for each one of the periods. Thus, the length of the array will be equal to the total number of periods, and the value of each number in the array will be equal to the OPEX for the NPV calculation the numerator and the total generation for the NPV in the denominator of the LCOE formula. For example, if you want to calculate the NPV for a series of OPEX equals to $10,000 for five periods discounted at a 4.5% per period, then you have to write in Excel equals NPV open brackets 4.5% comma and then write 10,000 five times and press enter and that should return 43,900. So, let's go back to our initial lambda formula. We already know the arguments or parameters needed to perform our calculation. For our calculation, we already have the capex 
and the discount rate per period as inputs given in the parameter. What we need to do now is to come up with a way to create an array for the OPEX and the generation so that our formula can be calculated. As it is now, the lambda function cannot understand the command array OPEX or array generation, so we need to create two arrays using Excel built-in formulas. And in Excel, the formula to create an array is the sequence. We won't detail how to use sequence in this video, but to create an array with five periods, or with length of five numbers, in which each number is equal to 10,000, you need to type equals sequence open brackets one as we only want one row for this sequence comma then five which represents the number of columns or the number of periods we want to have in our analysis comma as i start we're going to put the ten thousand which represents the number you want to bring to the present value and then comma and as the last argument we're going to have is steps which is the amount to increment in each subsequent value in the sequence. As we don't want to add any value for each one of the amounts, we're going to type 0 in here. Press Enter, and your array will be created. For the LCOE calculation, we need two arrays, one for the NPV of the OPEX, and one for the NPV of generation. To create an array for the OPEX, we need to have the following formula array opax equals to sequence open brackets one then period of analysis comma opax comma zero and to create an array for the generation we need to have the following formula array generation equals to sequence open brackets one peri comma period of analysis comma, total generation, comma, zero, enter. And you can see here that the only difference between the two arrays is the argument OPEX or total generation. And bringing everything together, we have the final formula that needs to go as an argument in the lambda calculation section. And by checking the arguments of the calculation, you can see all five variables listed below. So, now that I have gone through all the steps needed to have the lambda function to calculate the LCOE, let's gonna jump in the Excel file. If you recall from our previous video how to build an LCOE more than 5 minutes, we have that the LCOE is equal to $50.04 per megawatt hour. So let's build in our LCOE formula here and see if we can get the same results. So let's go. I'm going to type equals lambda, lambda, and then I'm going to add our parameters, which are generation, comma, capex, comma, opex, comma, discount rate, comma, period of analysis, period of analysis, analysis, comma. So these are all our inputs. Now I have to write our formula which is the sum of what? The capex. And as you can see here, Excel already recognized that a capex is an input in our formula. So just have to type tab, comma, what? The NPV of what? The NPV of the OPEX, but, but first we need to give the rate, so it's the discount rate. Again, it's already here, just press tab, comma. Now I have to build in the sequence formula, which is sequence, tab. The row is one. The column is the period of analysis, period of analysis, tab. The start's going to be what? The OPEX, comma, and the steps is zero. So I'm going to close all the parentheses in here. And now we're back to our uh, calculation. Then we have to divide all of this by what? We're going to divide this by the NPV, tab, of the generation. So we're going to have the discount rate here, discount rate, the discount rate, comma, I have to come up with the sequence, sequence, tab, one, comma, the generation, sorry, the period, period of analysis, tab, 
comma. Now I have to come up with the generation, tab, comma, and zero. And I'm gonna close here, and I'm gonna press enter. So Excel is gonna give an error in here, okay? And that's because uh, it it does come up it does come up with the formula, but it cannot calculate. Because what we need to do now is to inform what are the numbers of each one of the inputs. And there are two ways we can do it. The first one is just by continuing the form and press brackets and let Excel know what are the cells that refer to these inputs in here. So if we go for the if we go in the order here, so the generation is gonna be in here, comma, total uh, capex is this number here, comma, the total pax is here, comma, the discount rate is here, comma, and the period of analysis is here. I'm gonna close brackets and press enter. As you can see here, let me just copy and paste the format. The two numbers are the same. And to make sure that the same, it goes and say equals F30 equals F29, enter. And as you can see here, the result is true. So this is the first way to make the LCOE formula. But that's not the best way because it's still like if you want to calculate the LCOE with the lambda formula, you will have to write the formula every single time. So a better way to do it, I'm going to press F2 here and I'm going to copy everything in here, okay? Then we're going to go to Formulas, Name Manager, New, and we're going to save our formula in here. So our name is going to be LCOE, right? I'm going to paste our formula here, okay, except for the a reference to the cells. And I'm going to write what? Total Generation, comma, Total Capex, comma, Total Opex, comma, Discount rate per uh, per period, comma, and then what we're gonna have? We're gonna have total number of periods. And I'm gonna press OK, close. And now if I type equals LCOE, you can see that the LCOE formula is saved in this workbook. And now the only thing you need to do to calculate it is press tab. So the first argument is generation, which is in here, comma, capex, comma, opex, comma, discount rate per period, here, and the period of analysis, which here, close parentheses and enter. I'm going to copy and paste the format, and as you can see here, we have the same results. So, that's the best way, or that's the way you're going to do to have your built-in LCOE formula. I hope you have enjoyed, and if you have, if you have any questions, please just drop me a message, and I hope to see you soon in the next video. Thank you very much.